Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. We're doing discus breeding again. This is the next stage, this is the most exciting part uh, and I'll just shut up and show you. So if you haven't been following along, this is just a nice little breeding project to bring the year to a close with a success. Um, these are a couple of discus that I had in my display tank that were paired up and quite regularly would lay eggs, but in a community tank the eggs are never going to get anywhere because eggs are just a nice snack for most fish tanks. So we put them into this tank, um, left them to it for a while, brief history is they laid eggs a few times but the eggs were never fertilised. This time the eggs are fertilised. Uh, allaying my fears that I'd picked out the wrong two fish and these were actually two females. They have looked after the eggs really well, so the last video, and I'll link them up here, you can see all the other videos. They looked after them, they fanned them, and they got them to the regular stage. And this is stage three of four, where they're now at the free swimming stage, so they detach from the cone uh, and try and find the parents to feed off them. The next stage is obviously the raising of the fry, so taking from tiny, tiny, tiny little fry into the adult fish, so that'll be coming up later. If you join me on my live stream, you probably know that this was about to happen, and it's happened today, it's Saturday. So we're on day eight, after them laying. Um, so everything's going to plan. The parents are doing okay. Uh, there's a couple of marks already on what, for some reason I'm calling the male, but we'll see how that clears up. Um, looks a little bit like hole in the head, but I don't think it is. I think it is just a, a scratch. But the fry have found the parents. That was the main thing that we were concerned about. I mentioned in the last video that I'd used a lot of dark things in the tank, and the fry themselves, when they detach, they use colour. So they look for the darkest thing in the tank to attach to, and that's usually the parents, because they feed off the slime coat of the parents. And they have successfully done that. So that was the last big hurdle, really. Now, the only real remaining hurdle is down to me, really, because I have to make sure that I start feeding these at the right time because they can do a bit of damage. So if I leave the fry with the parents for too long, they will start to literally take chunks out of the parents. You see that they become all marked and the parents get really stressed and it really brings them down, their health and the condition goes down. So I have to monitor it. In the next couple of days, I'm going to start adding things like brine shrimp or decapsulated brine shrimp to see if I can get the fry interested in it. But I'll leave them with the parents for a little while uh, and I'll start preparing now another grow-on tank. So once I'm comfortable enough that I've got them feeding, uh, the, the parents don't eat them and everything goes okay in this tank, I'll probably take them from this tank when they're fried, when it needs to be separated from the parents and put them into this one let them grow on here for a while before then ultimately taking them down there and putting them in the discus display tank. I usually do that when they get to kind of saleable age. I think they're fine to start mixing with adults. A lot of people say, oh, don't do that because the hormones and things stunt the growth. And I'm not trying to breed show fish. I'm just trying to breed fish. So we'll see how we go. I would ask that you click subscribe and then you'll see that because this is going to be months in the making this isn't going to be come back next week and see the fish all grown up it does take a while um it's not for the faint-hearted either this is quite a commitment so discus fry um and a lot of fry so it's not just discus fry but discus fry especially is where most of my experience is they need lots of feedings they need lots of small feedings so this is a commitment for the next couple of months to feed four, five times a day, um, especially when they're really young. Otherwise, they, they just drop off. Um, there's going to be another bump in the road in a couple of weeks where lots of people experience the fry. They grow, they grow, everything's fine, and then everything drops off. Um, so we do need to keep an eye out for things like that. 
but the commitment is the thing that most people get put off by because you have to come down here constantly uh, multiple times a day and feed I think I'll be alright with that because this is actually my office, I work from here so all I'm really doing is committing to coming down here at the weekend a few times a day so I think I can manage that, it should be okay but it is a commitment and it is effort if you don't naturally hang around in the same tank as where they are already. So that was just a quick update to show you how we're getting on with the breeding project. If you're interested in following along there will be a button down there and um, give that button a click and you won't miss any updates. I'll do a quick bit of shilling while I'm here. The Aquarium Adventures calendars have actually arrived so the physical calendars are going to start getting shipped out next week so there is still time to buy. I will put a link in the description. This is going to raise money for two good causes. We've got the Freshwater Life Project and the Amazon Research Centre for Ornamental Fishies. Um, again, there will be links down below that you can read about both those organisations and why I've chosen to give them um, the fundraiser. Um, but the calendar, if I do say so myself, it's pretty good. And does all the things a calendar does has space for you to write things in and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, you can get a thing, you can donate to a good cause. It's not overly expensive, you get something for your money as well as that warm, snuggly feeling that you've done something good. Uh, and the fish will like it, probably. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Bye!